Hey guys, so in case you are wondering where I am at right now, I am actually not at Minecon. This is just a recap video. I am actually out very close to my house. My house is over in that direction. Um, the reason I'm not recording this vlog, I don't really want to call it a vlog. I want to kind of call it a bit more of a recap, as I said. It's because I am very tired, but for some reason thought to myself, you know, that's a good excuse to go for a walk. I don't know why, but I could not sit down in front of a computer when I had been gone from it for uh, four days, I think. You know, I went back and played a couple of games of Minecraft, and Jesus Christ, like, if you don't play that stuff, like, at least once every couple of days, you lose your trip. <laughs> you lose your skills pretty fast, so, uh... That's that. So I just decided to walk, uh, got an interesting area to go through here. I'm at a park, local park, uh, school over here. We're going to be going down that area right over there as I talk to you guys. But, um, yeah, I wanted to do a walking vlog also in the spirit to make it kind of seem like I'm doing a vlog at Minecon. Uh, guys, this, uh, this vlog is going to be very scattered as I have a lot on my mind that I wanted to tell you all. Um, Minecon was crazy. And that's the reason that I'm actually not vlogging from there is because... Whew, I need to stop for a second. <laughs> Minecon went by fast. Like, it lasted for a few days. Uh, you know, obviously it was this weekend I went... Ooh, someone went live. Uh, <laughs> got a little notification on my iPhone there. Minecon was from the 2nd to the 3rd this weekend, and I left on Friday, and I got back today. Today's the day I got back. Uh, good old California, I've missed you so. <laughs> it's good when you come back home and you're happy to be here, you know, instead of just missing Orlando. I miss Orlando already, but, you know, I'm happy to be back home. Ah, man. But it went by fast. There really wasn't a chance to do any vlogging in there whatsoever, uh, which... You know, it, it's a good thing and a bad thing, I guess. Uh, it was a really good time. And uh, before before I go into any further, I know a lot of you guys are going to be watching this um, that actually could not make it to Minecon. In fact, the majority of you. But you know what? I feel you. I feel you. I have seen, you know, I've gone through a ton of experiences where people have gone to events like PAX Prime and all that kind of stuff. And they, you know, I wasn't able to go. And I was kind of like, you know, I'm going to stay off Twitter. I'm going to not watch any videos. But, of course, you go on Twitter. Just It's kind of that thing. You don't want to go on Twitter. You don't want to see any of those pictures of anything. Something you couldn't go to. But you do anyways. Just because, I don't know. Intriguing, I guess you could say. But, I mean, aside from that. Um, so, I feel you. I do. But, personally, for me, Minecon, I'm pretty sure, was the best... At least in my knowledge. Hey, shut up. <laughs> it worked. Shut up! That was probably a bit too loud. <laughs> Moncon for me was probably the best two days. Um, at least very close to the best two days of my life. Uh, definitely the best vacation or getaway, you could say. It wasn't really a vacation too much. It's actually the second time I've been to uh, Florida in the past year. I went back uh, last December, and the third overall time, I'm going to switch hands here, the third overall time, oh, it's my hand right there, hold up, the third overall time I went to Florida in my life. Uh, I've gone to a lot of states, even though I'm not the biggest fan of traveling, to be honest, um, but it was probably one of the best times I've ever had. It started off, I'll do a little bit of a recap here, it started, look, look at the sunset in the background right there, look at all cinematic and everything. It started off, uh, I got in, hmm, actually, I'll track back everything here. I, I kids, I'm a little playing kids out there. I left Friday morning at 3 a.m. Uh, to LAX, which actually, okay, <laughs> I have a side story already. Interesting enough, if you guys didn't hear, uh, L I live, LAX is my main airport. I gotta stop for a second. <laughs> LAX actually had a shooting happen um, three hours after I left for it. 
uh, after I left my flight, and that canceled down the entire, to my knowledge, the entire airport for the rest of the day. Uh, uh, it shut down the all the um, you know, all the flights and everything. They closed the airport. Uh, I think, to my knowledge, a couple of people got hurt and one person got killed. It wasn't too bad, but my heart definitely. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my heart definitely goes out to um, the people that got hurt during that it, it sucks you know I've been you know wishing their families well and well not directly but you know I've been praying for them so that was uh you know my heart's go out to that it was definitely pretty scary too considering for the fact that it was three hours after I left on the flight um so that was freaky to hear I heard that on the way back when I arrived at Miami because I had to take a uh, two overlay flights no yeah one overlay in between two flights I took a four and a half hour flight getting back on the story here I took a four and a half hour flight from uh, LAX to Miami and then a 30 minute flight from Miami to Orlando. And I arrived there, I want to say like five o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time. And after that was actually, the first thing I did was I went to MineCon and I registered my ticket. I went to the MineCon uh, Convention Center, walked down there, which is a hell of a walk, um, registered my ticket, and at, there I actually met Turk and Zach Peterson. You may not know him. He's, um, if you know Snaggy Gaming from any events, I'm not sure if you would, but I met those two guys, which is pretty cool. Hung out with Turk for the majority of the trip, to be honest. I'm trying to just switch hands here, which way I'm going to be walking next. So that was cool. Uh, Friday wasn't really much. Saturday, that was the big one. Saturday was the first day of my con. I slept in uh, till about 9.30 in the morning. I planned on getting up at like 8, but, you know, that didn't happen. So, uh, just making sure I got the camera. All the good angle here. Went to my con at around 11, and I met freaking everyone. <laughs> Here's where I gotta be honest with you. Saturday was the highlight of the trip, obviously. You know, first day of it, you got to see everybody, parties and stuff like that. I'll get into details real quick here. I met everybody. I met, um, Turk and Kyle were the first couple people that I met. I also met Wuffles, uh, very soon. Met, um, Taffy as well. Taffy was with Rob. Who else? Kermit. And uh, Ian Sunday was actually one of the first people that I met. I saw him quite a few times, uh, apart from the rest of Team Craft, which is pretty cool. Nice guy. These guys are, you know, they're really nice guys. Uh, and then after that, at around, hmm, well, I'll just kind of backtrack on a few people that I saw. Pretty much everybody that you know. <laughs> uh, I met Matt Clark, Jolly O'Brits. I met all the Jolly O'Brits, Will and Ed. Uh, I met Matt Nooch, freaking finally that guy. I've known him for like a year. No, 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 no. They're two years now, two years, and I finally met him. So I'm looking at this like, thank God. And I met, uh, you know, Jerome and Mitch. I met all the Team Crafted. If you haven't seen any of the pictures, I'm gonna um, try and shoot some links in the links in the description. If you guys would like to see any of the pictures on my Twitter that we took. Um, we hung out at MineCon for quite a few hours. We didn't really go to any booths or do any panels, but we just kind of relaxed for a while. Um, the fun part actually was around 6 o'clock when MineCon closed that day. We got all team crafted, myself, the Nexus team, and a few other friends, and we rented out the uh, James from MC Pro hosting, rented us out a limo. And that was the best part of the trip, in my personal opinion. We all got on the limo ride, we went to Islands of Adventure at Universal, and oh my gosh, it was sick. It was absolutely incredible. Um, I wanted to get videos, I wanted to do like a vlog or something, but like I said, the day just went by too fast for all that stuff to happen. And then afterwards, we went to a little uh, friend's party. And I called it a night around uh, midnight. I left and got back to the hotel around 1 a.m. Uh, the rest of the gang, like Team Crafted and all that, went off partying because, you know, they're over 18, 21, stuff like that. So, <laughs> no drinking over here. Me personally. 
but um, that was pretty cool. Sunday was a relaxing day as well. We went back to Minecon. We saw a few other people. We mostly, well, actually, no, we didn't really see anybody new on Sunday because it was mostly on Saturday that we saw everybody. Um, but yeah, Sunday was just kind of a hangout day. Uh, Minecon closed at six. They did the opening, the closing ceremony rather, at five. And uh, myself and Turk went to that. You know, everybody else went off and partied. I uh, went to Dave and Buster's for a little while. Called it a night early at like around 10 o'clock in the afternoon. Monday came around today. Woke up at 4 a.m., another early flight. Took a two and a half hour flight from Orlando to Dallas, Texas. Finally went to Texas. I missed those wide open skies and pecan pies. Now we took another flight from Dallas, Texas to LAX and lo and behold, I'm here back in California, the place I have missed for so long, a weekend, but uh, it's good to be back home. Love this place, absolutely do. So uh, that was my weekend. Um, I'm really sorry I couldn't do any uh, videos or vlogs there, but you know, time just went by way too fast. And I mean, that's uh, that's kind of it. That was Minecon. I got a... <laughs> Like on wristband, right here. I plan on wearing for as long as I possibly can. Don't, not taking this thing off for a while. It's made of uh, some sort of really comfortable material. It doesn't get like wet or uh, mossy or anything like that. But yeah, um, that was kind of my con in a nutshell. Really awesome weekend. And I, um, it's actually kind of funny. Uh, throwing a little bit of a sappy part into here. Finally got to thank like uh, Jerome, Mitch, and the guys personally for uh, getting me uh, here to where I am now in the audience that I have because I wouldn't be doing YouTube without them. You know, uh, ASF back when that was a thing was the channel that got me started on YouTube, and you know they're the people who uh, I'm just gonna let you guys gonna look over here. They're the people who got me started on YouTube, and uh, you know. Two years have gone down the line, finally met them, rode in a limo with them, went out partying, met everybody at MyCon. Actually, it was pretty cool because uh, during MyCon, I signed, I think, like 20 people's, uh, they, had little, uh, they had little cards and stuff like that, so that was cool. It was, uh, it was awesome meeting a few of you guys, um, getting able to say hi. It was kind of cool because, you know, you went to MyCon and you see all these people, like at least from my perspective. Uh, you know, as a YouTuber, and I'm not the only one who thinks this, you go to MyCon, and you see all these people that you've worked with for years and months, uh, you know, whether you just met them or you've known them for a couple of years now, and you see all these fans, you see there's a dog again, you see all these fans, and, uh, you know, these people that are so happy to meet you, and, you know, they're all playing the game, they got conventions and booths set up, and it's like, uh, you know, it, it feels like home uh, in a really, like, I don't know. It feels stupid to say, or uh, not really stupid, but it just, like, it seems silly, I guess you could say. But, you know, it felt like I was stepping into home because, you know, that's the game that I've done for two years now. I got to see and hang out with everybody that I've known for two years. They were all just right there. And, um, you know. Everybody, you know, it was kind of cool because you felt like you were actually at home for what you've been doing for two years. And I thought to myself, you know, I would like to keep doing this for a long time. And, you know, hey, I plan on going to MyCon uh, 2014, wherever that may be. MyCon's down the road. Other conventions like PAX. I'm going to try and go to PAX East soon. I know it's cool. And then to get home, it's like uh, you have your home at the computer where you do all your work and stuff like that. And then you have your own, a MyCon, it's kind of like, you know, it's who you are in a way. Like Minecraft for me is kind of like a lifestyle because it really has been for, you know, me for two years. And I know it sounds lame or nerdy, but you know, hey, you know what? <laughs> I'm happy to be a nerd. That's what's got me here, so. Um, sun is starting to set. I think it's only, I don't have my watch on me. It's only like five o'clock. Look at how beautiful it is. I got something in my foot. But, um, that's a bit more than something. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, I think I'm going to be cutting out off here. We're just giving one more thank you to, um, 
ASF, of course, Mitch Jerome, Matt, and even Zach, uh, you know, for bringing me to where I am now. And, you know, this is an awesome opportunity. I plan on doing YouTube for years. Uh, the thing is, whether, whether it be the case of me having to stop for a few weeks and making videos just because of school and situations like that, so be it, you know, <laughs> so be it. Uh, I just noticed that there's a really <laughs> funny flap with my hair in the back there, but I don't care. I plan on doing YouTube for as long as I physically can make videos, so I don't see myself ever losing interest in it, and, you know, even if I did, you know, I'd find something that made me happy just because I don't want to stop making videos for you guys, you know, I love it, I absolutely love it. Uh, that's from the bottom of my heart. You know, I was given this opportunity, and damn, I'm going to take advantage of it. <laughs> it's only the beginning of the road. So, uh, you know, as I look over at the park, dramatic cut scene right there. I want to say uh, thank you guys for watching. That was Minecon 2013, probably some of the best moments of my entire life. Going to be completely honest with you. And, uh, you know, take care, guys. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend as well, whether you were at Minecon, whether you uh, were wishing to be at Minecon, or just if you were doing something else. You know, maybe Minecon didn't interest you. But aside from that, take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, small little vlog here. I'll get it uploaded soon for you. Don't you worry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, see you guys around.